How's it going guys? Sharblox here. Welcome back to another Roblox events video here on the channel. Today's video is going to be a long one, but we are going to be playing the Roblox Computer History Museum event. The first thing we are going to get for free is the CHM Camping Backpack. This one is actually pretty cool because the straps go over your avatar's shoulders. So if you're looking for a free backpack that looks kind of nice, yeah, I would recommend getting this one. However, it just takes quite a long time to do all of the tasks. The second thing we are getting for free is some lab coat pants. Yeah, this is 2D clothing. I know it's good it's not 3D clothing, but considering how basic this is, this one is pretty difficult to get. Okay, well, it's not really hard. It's just very time consuming. Make sure to watch my previous two videos on the channel where I show you guys how to get the compass and the baseball cap. Basically, everything here that's off sale is free. You can also get the CHM t-shirt by logging in for five days in a row. So that one's pretty easy to get, but yeah, again, it just takes time. Anyway, go and join the event game, guys, and I will show you how to get everything. All right, so once you guys are inside of the game, you want to follow me and you actually want to go to your house. So you want to go to the home section. Basically what we need to do guys is you need to do every single task in the game. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, I know. Also, I just want to say guys, make sure you watch my previous two videos. So the video where I get the robot dog, basically your pet. You see, I've got one here. If I open up the pets menu, yeah, I selected a dog. And also watch the video where I showed you guys how to get that ocean compass neck thing, whatever it was, I'm not sure. Anyway, like I was saying guys, we need to do all of the tasks. So basically, you see down here in the right hand corner, if you click on this, this is going to have every single task. Yep, there's quite a lot of stuff. Turtle mazes, shell design, automation, automated kitchens, loads of random stuff. Let's click on the automated kitchen first because I'm pretty sure this one is actually inside of our house. So yep, let's go into the house. Let's go to the automated kitchen challenge. Let's go and talk to the parents and let's see. They want us to do something with the kitchen or something. We have to tell them what's automated in the kitchen. So we need to click on our toolbox. We need to click on this thing. Quizbot apparently. So we're going to have to get five questions right. So yeah, once this comes up, you click on the cross and it looks like it's a kitchen quiz. No, oh dear, that's a bit boring. Is a blender automated? No, it's not. You have to activate it yourself, right? Is a broom and dustpan automated? No. Is a ceiling fan automated? Oh wait, does that just mean electronic? Oh wow, I'm actually stupid. Automated just means electronic right? Toaster, yeah, congratulations, you passed. Well, I'm actually so dumb. Oh, well, we passed it. And yeah, that's basically how it works, guys. You have to do all of these quizzes. Let's move on to the next one. There is something called the turtle maze. So yeah, I guess we're going to go and do that. Oh, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere over here. I'll just do a jump cut once I'm there, guys. So for the turtle maze, I think we need to talk to this guy. So let's go and talk to him. Let's hold E and good. It's not working. Okay, let's try that again. Let's go and talk to him. There you go. Now it works. Why am I so unlucky? Why does everyone every Roblox game break on me. That is so annoying. Anyway, we have to open up our toolbox, use our iPad, and we have to guide the turtle through the maze. So I'm going to pause the video here, and when I return, you guys can copy my settings. Okay, I'm back, and I hope this maze is the same for everyone, because if it is, this is going to be very easy. So yeah, guys, if your maze looks like this, make sure to go ahead and copy my commands. Let's click on run commands, and our turtle should actually do the entire maze. I'm pretty sure I entered that incorrectly. So yeah, let's just see what happens. Oh dear, this is so slow. I might actually do a jump cut because this is boring, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I did it right, guys. The turtle should actually make it to the end. Wow, would you look at that? We actually completed it. So there you go. That is the turtle maze one done. There you go. Apparently that was coding. I don't know if it was or not, but yes, that one's completed. We got the tokens. Now let's move on to shell design. Shell design is in the school by the looks of it. Oh, it's in the science room. Let's go up to him. So it's this guy over here. Let's go talk to him. What's he telling us to do? Something about a computer or something. Try and build a shell. Okay, so we've got to, what, go on our toolbox, go on VR. Oh, maybe we have to go on our iPad. Oh, I see. Okay, so let's go next. Let's click off the cross and we have to pick a shell. Let's do um, this crazy looking one, submit. There you go. 3D printing a turtle shell. Okay, that's pretty cool. And I think that's probably it. Yep, we've got the tokens. Let's move on to the next one, which was automation, which is also in the school, by the way and I think it's on the second floor. So we've got to go up some stairs to find this automation bloke. There you go, he's in the classroom. Oh, it's a girl, a music teacher. She's got some creepy looking sculpture. Let's see what she says. Uh, this thing was built a hundred years ago. Yeah, I can tell it looks awful. Use your hacking tool to destroy it. Okay, that sounds cool. Now nah, I'm just kidding. We don't have to destroy this old artwork. We have to, what? What does this even mean? I don't understand this at all. Are we supposed to click where the music notes are? Is that what it is? If that's the case, I've already messed it up, haven't I? Oh, Oh, 
Jeez, I've already messed this up. Well done. You've learned how to repro- Oh, I did it? What? I thought I completely destroyed that. Oh, well, I got the points. So let's move on to the next one. Automated kitchen. We've done that. Home monitoring. Okay, let's follow the arrow there. So leave the school, guys, and go over to this person's house. Wait, is it this one? Oh, no, I think that's the wrong one. Oh, no, it's our house by the looks of it. So yeah, go over to this house and we have to talk to this guy. Oh, we should have just done this earlier. Oh, well, let's just spam click, see what he has to say. We have to do like a thermostat thing or something. I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's go on our iPad or whatever. So let's cross off this. Oh, what's this? Change the house's temperature to make your dog comfortable. What? Oh dear. Okay, we're going to have to do this as well. So there you go. Do all of that stuff. Then we need to set the house's temperature to 68. So we've got to make it a lot lower. So basically spam click until you get it to 68. There you go. Amazing job. Two, find your missing hamster. Okay, so let's go and do that. Let's click off that. Where's the missing hamster then? Can we find him using something in the toolbox? Oh, I see. Okay, where is the hamster? Let's... Oh, there he is. There you go. Locate your missing... He's in room two. He's flying all over the place. He's going nuts. What if they've been feeding this hamster? Oh, so you just click on the thing and then you find it. We don't actually have to walk upstairs. I guess they don't care about it that much. Okay, third, brighten your house so grandma can do her reading. Okay, well, let's close off this. Let's go to brighten the house. Grandma will be happy. And we also need to change the music so our baby can fall asleep. Oh, do we get to choose the music? What should we put on? Like Scar Lord or something? Let's have a look. Oh, cool. We do get to select the track. What if we got Lil Peep, XXX Tentacion? Uh, let's see. Oh, there you go. The baby like Juice World. That's perfect. Great job. Okay. And I think that is probably now done. I think we've got the coins. This game's killing me. Up next, we've got Ping Pong Evolution. And we have to talk to this guy with the pizza shirt. So let's talk to the gamer. Let's see. Uh, favorite TV show. First life ping pong game. You could connect it to your TV and play it. Okay, cool, man. So go on our toolbox, go on our iPad thing. And oh, we have to play this guy at ping pong. Oh, okay. I see. So you have to click A and D to hit it back. Come on. Oh no, this this is like this is so laggy. Oh dear, what is this? Come on. Did I fail that? Do I have to oh now we're playing like a VR version? What is going on? Why is this thing glitching out? What on earth is going on? Good job. Okay, we got the coins. I've got no idea what happened there. Okay, next one. Drone racing. We're gonna talk to who? Someone over here by the looks of it. Who is this? This girl, we're gonna talk to her about drone racing. So let's go and click on all of this stuff. We've got to open up our toolbox we've got to go on our drone okay this is pretty cool tutorial pilot your drone okay i had to join a new server because i managed to completely break it last time but let's just go and fly our drone again come on why wasn't it working why wouldn't it let me go up that's what i'm confused about okay so this time it's actually working and i think what we have to do guys is go through all of the rings so there you go i really don't think it matters like what order you do this in literally just fly through all 10 guys and that's literally it i don't even think you have to go through them i'm pretty sure you can just crash into them and it's perfectly fine there you go that'd be five then we've got six over here by the trees and as you can see there are the other ones i think i can see all four there you go so we've got six seven this one will be eight then we have nine this one's a bit hidden so don't forget that one and the last one is up there that one is number 10 let's go and get that there you go we did it let's go so moving on what was the next one let's just check we've done all of this stuff drone racing now we have to do playground okay we're actually getting through this let's go over to the playground and we have to talk to this kid over here which is sitting down so let's press e to go and talk to him oh is it broken again how do i keep on breaking this i don't understand what i'm doing wrong i don't know how i break these events guys i guess i just have bad luck i've got to join another new server so again let's go and talk to him let's click on this and i think what we have to do guys is redesign the park for him so we have to click on our toolbox click on our ipad close off this open the toolbox enable our vr goggles and when we walk up to this stuff we have to select it so this one is a swing so let's go and select that and there you go that one worked walk close to the play thing go and select this one and that one worked then i think we need to walk close to this climbing frame okay so maybe not this one okay it's this one here so let's go and select this and that one worked and there is one more which is apparently this thing here which is another swing okay there you go we did it it was glitched last time but we finally got it working the new playground is amazing there you go i'm glad you like it mate so let's move on to the next one which is traffic lights apparently guys we only have two more to do and by the looks of it the traffic lights guy is standing over here so let's go and talk to him oh we did this one earlier 
earlier. Maybe it doesn't matter if we do DOS or not, I don't know. Yeah, we have already done this thing. Do you remember, guys? We did this when we were trying to get the cap. It was like really strange, right? You had to like level out these things. So to make that go down, then make that go down like that, then do that. And that was basically it. There you go, we fixed it. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is Candy Factory. So let's click on that. Let's go up to this guy. Let's go and speak to him. I think we can't speak to him because everyone's in the way. Yeah, these servers get a bit too crowded. Okay, there you go. Press E to talk to him. So let's just skip on this bit and let's see what do we have to do. We have to open up this, then go on our iPad, then close off this. Oh, what is it? Fill the boxes with candy. Okay. Oh, I see how it works, guys. So you turn the machine on if it turns off. If you keep the temperature low and you spam refill and that's basically it. Oh, that's pretty easy. That's pretty simple. At first, I was really confused by this thing, but now nah, it's very, very simple. So yeah, let's do this for, I don't know, we don't have to do much more, do we? Just keep on clicking on refill, turn them on if they turn off. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. And this is actually my final task. So that's a good thing. I was getting kind of annoyed of this event because it was just so repetitive. I don't know. Very, very glitchy. But there you go. We did it. We got the badge. Keep in mind, guys, if you leave, your tasks are still safe. And yeah, there you go, guys. So back on the main hub, the first thing we are going to do, guys, is go over to the ocean. So let's go in here. Now, once you're on the ocean area, guys, you want to speak to this guy over here by the boat. And he is going to get us to do a task. So let's go and talk to the ambassador. He said there's something to do with the coral or something. Well, I guess it's like rubbish picking or something like that, guys. Let's see. Let's open up our toolbox. Let's go on our drone. Underwater drone. Oh, that's pretty cool. So let's see. What do we have to do? We have to collect rubbish, is it? Oh, it's coral. I thought we were collecting rubbish, but apparently we're collecting coral. So you have to scan, press space bar and scan the corals. Or is it A and D? unhealthy coral reef submitted. Okay, so you press A and D all the way to scan it or something. Well, it said one out of five, so I clearly did something right. I don't really know what I just did there. Let's try on the next one because that was a bit confusing. There's a bubble over here, so let's go up to it and let's have a look, guys. So this green bubble, let's go and see. Let's press E to go down. Let's go and scan this thing. And then I think we have to press A or D or something. Let's just spam it and see what happens. Spamming D, does it do anything? And unhealthy coral reef submitted. Okay, so I don't think you use A. I think you just spam D to go to the right and then it submits it. It's very odd. Oh, who cares? Moving on to the next one, guys. This one is some more corals. So let's go and scan them by pressing the space bar there. And again, we're going to spam D all the way. There you go. It's unhealthy. Healthy corals submitted. Okay, I really don't get this. This is very, very odd. By the looks of it, guys, you don't need to press A. I can't see any bubbles, but I can see one here. So let's go up to this bubble. Let's press spacebar to scan. Let's press or spam D again on our keyboards. Healthy coral submitted or coral reef submitted. Okay, so now we have to find one more, which is this one right here, I think. Is it this one? What is this? Yes, yeah, spacebar to scan. This one wasn't appearing on my radar, so that's a bit dodgy. Luckily, I found that. There you go. We did it. Excellent work. And I think that's it for this one. We can go back to the main menu, guys, by clicking on this icon. So now I think we need to go to the rainforest. We've done the ocean. We need to go to the rainforest by the looks of it, guys. So inside of the rainforest area, area guys i think we need to go over here and talk to this girl which is basically just standing there so let's go up let's press e to talk to her the amazon rainforest is famous for its great variety of tropical plants okay let me skip most of this i kind of just want to see what the task is we have to set up some hidden cameras so let's click on our toolbox let's go on the vr let's close off of this and we have to place some cameras oh i see it tells us where to place them so let's go and place one there that's one out of five so there's five in total I can see they're actually highlighted. So there's another one over here on the tree next to all of these boats. Let's go and place this one. That one's number two. If we do a bit of rock climbing, jump back up. I think the other ones are over there. Oh, there you go, guys. I can already see all three. Because they're glowing and they have white outlines, they're pretty easy to see. Oh, wow. I just saw a crocodile. That's a bit creepy. Anyway, let's go over here. Let's place this one. This one would be number three. So let's place that. And we have two more. And then I 
think that's it. I did see another worker standing over there by the entrance. I don't know if he gives us a task as well. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't, but I think he might. Anyway, let's just go and place this one. Let's go and place that one. And then that's all five. So there you go, guys. On to the last one. Let's place it. That is now done. So let's open up the box. What do we have to do? Go on our iPad. And now we have to do some camera things. So this is like camera monitoring. Oh, there's a leopard. So what do we click if we see something? Oh, wait, we click the exclamation mark, I think. Oh, is that it? We just spam click it. Oh, there you go. But well, that was easy. I think it was a bit laggy. Anyway, we finished it. And I think that is it. Guys, there is also another task on the ocean world. There is actually a scuba diver over here. So let's go and talk to this guy. Let's see what he wants us to do. We want the water clean. Oh, this is the trash one. So the other one was the coral one. This one is trash collecting. So let's go on our VR headset. Close off the tutorial. We actually need to dive into the ocean. And as you can see, there is a lot of trash. Way over 10 by the looks of it. Actually, no, that might be 10 to be honest. What have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can only see 9, I think. Oh, well, let's just collect all of them anyway. So to collect them, guys, you hold E. Oh, you have to set the coordinates. So what? Oh, so X is minus 2, 5, 1. Y will be 20. Submit. No coordinate. Oh, it gave me a thing. I mean, it gave me a trash point. So there you go. That's how you do it. So let's try it with the rusty. Oh, it's a car. Probably a dead body in there. Have you guys ever seen those creepy YouTube videos? Anyway, let's press E. So that was minus 76 and one for Y. Submit. There you go. Another one over here. Another computer by the looks of it. Why is everyone chucking their Windows 98 computers in the ocean? So this one's four, two, seven and 13 on Y. Submit. Oh, I got that wrong. 13. There you go. There's another random one here. I might actually do a jump cut because I have a feeling this is going to take way too long. But let's just do eight. Submit. And there you go. Yeah, I'll do a jump cut once I'm close to finishing, guys. How is an entire pirate ship supposed to be trash? That's like a hidden treasure or something. That's like an antique. Anyway, let's just do one and submit. There you go. And three more. And there they are. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? This one wasn't too hard. It was actually pretty easy. It was just a bit frustrating having to find all this stuff. Well, I know it's easy to find, but yeah, you know what I mean. So let's press E on this. One, two, seven. And what was that one? Two. Enter. There you go. Complete. We have now done it. The ocean world. So now we need to turn to the ocean guy. Maybe we need to speak to him again or something. I don't know. Oh, wow. We actually swam a long way. He's somewhere over there. So let's jump onto the pier to talk to this guy. Can I even get up? Oh, we might have to go on the beach first. Oh, no. There you go. I did it. So let's go and talk to him. And there you go. Thank you for finding all of it. You have completed it. And we got a badge. Virtual student. I think we did it, guys. So there we have it, guys. That's basically it. On my avatar editor, I now own it. The lab coat pants and the camping backpack as well. I didn't get the red t-shirt just yet. This t-shirt might actually be pretty good for free. It's very customizable. You could put like a Roblox t-shirt over it. But yeah, if you want to get this, you need to log in every day for five days in a row. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.